Xbox talks about their next official live stream, and of course, we've got an update on the June event as well. Let's get into it. What is going on guys? Dealer back again with yet another video. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing phenomenally. Hope everybody's having a great day. Thank you for tuning in. Of course, if you are excited for the future of Xbox, hit that like button, show a buddy or two. We've got some really cool information today regarding their July event. Not only are we talking Xbox's July event, this should showcase games like Fable, maybe Forza, Halo, and more, but I've got a little bit of detail here for the June event as well. So many people are curious as to when the next Microsoft events are showcasing their next generation of console games. And of course, as per usual, right on time, when they don't say something soon enough, somebody makes up a rumor and naturally some of these sites go with it. Case in point, BG247, who have now removed their claim, their article, their link on Twitter, so it says not available, but basically these guys were running with the rumor that Xbox had pushed back their closest digital events all the way until August. Microsoft's Aaron Greenberg, who we've recently talked about in other videos, has spoken out on this, uh, basically crushing this claim. Now we'll start off with the July event, then I'll give you what I know on the June event. In regards to the July event, Aaron says, no, we have not pushed anything back. Our plan remains to have our next digital show in July, and teams are working hard on that. Now that one tweet, that one retweet from old boss man Aaron here has shut down that article, and of course that has been removed. So again, that event has not been pushed back. I've gotten so many questions about this since it's happened, and I've finally gotten time to kind of make a video on this. Remember, that July event is supposed to be the one where they showcase all of that high-end first-party software. Games like Fable, perhaps the next Forza Motorsport, Halo. They may even spend time debuting and showcasing different patches that leverage the next generation Series X. But never forget that the Prime software will come in one to two years from now, just like it does every single generation that has nothing to do with Lockhart or any other cross-gen support. It always takes a year or two for developers to really start to bring everything out of the box. That's when gameplay design starts to shift around the new hardware, just in time for that Xbox One S to drop support. Now, naturally, I'm going to get the question, how is this July event going to stack up to Sony's June 11th event? Well, you're going to see some pretty incredible software at Sony's event. I'm already hearing it from more than one person. You're talking about some really, really next generation looking stuff. Keep in mind that Sony have a different art direction and generally a longer development cycle than many Xbox games. Not to mention that PS5 is still a pretty capable system. Combine that with something like Decima Engine and Horizon Zero Dawn 2, you are likely going to see the best looking games you've ever seen in your life at this event. I don't know if I'll release this video on a Wednesday or maybe Thursday. By the time you watch this, you might have already seen these games, but I hear Horizon Zero Dawn 2 and Gran Turismo will make an appearance. I hear that those games are going to look so incredible that uh, it's not going to be good for Xbox. But when it comes down to it, I already expect their games to look absolutely fantastic. Uh, even on the base PS4, their games look incredible. It all comes down to art direction. That's the look they go for, and that's the look I want a lot of Xbox games to go for as well. Let me know if you agree down below it's fine if you don't it's fine if you do either way gaming is gaming it's the best hobby in the world again let me know your thoughts now when it comes to the june event well it's not so much an event as maybe some kind of vlog style thing or some kind of video style thing where they detail the velocity architecture things like that jason ronald has already hinted to this keep in mind that this is not an actual like inside xbox style event that is if it's even still happening due to all of these delays and some of the stuff that's going on here in the states as well as the global situation, I can't tell you when that event will happen. I can tell you that it was already slated internally to happen by now. It did not happen. They pushed it back. But at the end of the day, the June event is still apparently some kind of announcement more than an event. It's not like the May event or the July event. It is a smaller thing, some kind of press release, maybe a video of some kind. It will detail specifics on Xbox Series X velocity architecture, as well as maybe some other things that I can't say. Um, even though it's kind common sense i was still told and, and and told not to say nothing uh but at the end of the day um i am excited for it i can't wait for uh some of the information coming out and you know i'll cover it here just remember that the june event as far as i know is still a thing but it is not so much as an event as maybe a press release or some kind of small video not sure on that one yet again let me know your thoughts on all of this down below remember june event not so much an event but more of an announcement more of a press release more of a vlog style thing potentially but not an inside xbox event though to my knowledge still happening i just 
to reiterate, it will be focused on more of the technical side. I expect to hear much more about the Xbox Series X GPU, especially one certain aspect of that GPU. And again, I'd like to know your thoughts on it down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, maybe show a buddy or two. It all helps a lot, guys. You've helped us build one of the biggest Xbox channels in the world, and that kind of blows my mind. So you, you guys are phenomenal. You support, you, you do your thing, and I'm very, very humbled by all of that. So again, guys, the link's down below, sources down there. If you want to become a patron, that link's down there below. Channel memberships are available, of course. Uh, all of the regular spewing crap that I have to say at the end of the video. You guys rock. I'll see you guys in the next one.